So we've commissioned a, a series of white papers on the evolution of agile uh, space. This first paper looks at understanding human behaviour and work styles um, and ultimately how they lead to further engagement of the, the employees in that office space. I manage an agile working space on a day-to-day -day basis and the more I understand the way people use the space, the better I am able to manage that space. I think for me the most amazing thing you see is people working collaboratively in an environment that's not necessarily set up for that, but they've adapted the space to what they need it to be. People now, as everyone knows, can work from home, they can work in the office, they can work on the train, they can work in a coffee shop. The four walls that bounded people before have really disappeared. And this paper looks at how people engage in that workspace um, and ultimately does that workspace enable them to be as productive and engaged as they, uh, as they might otherwise be. You have people who want to sit in the same place every day. You have people who want to sit in the most uncomfortable position just so they've got that awesome view. Having to cater to all this keeps, keeps, keeps us all on our toes. It's been about mobility and technology, but actually now it's as much about culture and temperament um, of, the, uh, of the employees. Not all work styles are the same, and understanding and recognising that will help us ultimately shape an office environment that will drive greater engagement. Every office is full of different personalities and people working in different ways. And I think finally, the uh, you know, driving collaboration is, is all about understanding work styles. And if you adapt those work styles, you will create greater collaboration with any, any environment. Ultimately, the more we know about people, the better placed FMs are going to be to have a, an environment that really works. We like to think of it as, and what the report touches upon, is almost seeing FMs as gardeners rather than architects, nurturing the space, nurturing the individuals, and really they can only do that by understanding what makes the people in any building and environment tick. It's all about getting the very best from your workers. This white paper is really useful for FMs.